Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to Stonehearth with me, Lathrex. And of course, welcome to a brand new season in which we are going to be sadly saying goodbye to the settlement of Stone Village, our little first impressions experience. That was a load of fun, but I think it's time to start again, again, because I have an idea on just how I would like to play this game. And sadly, hiding underground for the entire game with that particular group was not going to be the most fun. So what we are going to be doing is this. We are going to be going with the Raya's children, which personally is my favourite of the three, at least in terms of their looks, and we will be going with the desert on hard difficulty. There we are. So lots of very creepy things happening there in the game. So let's select our roster. What I really want to do is to have a trading empire. So I want to have a desert traders. So lots and lots of gold. So we're going to be picking the gold option when it comes to the flag bonus. And then when we get the hearth bonus, and I honestly don't know what the bonuses are there because still new to all the new updates, anything which is to do with money, I will be picking. I just want to make a fortune in this game, because I think that's going to be a fun way of playing. Is your name Azula? Well, suddenly getting Avatar flashbacks there, so we're obviously keeping you, the optimistic Azula. Anyone who knows who that is, that's interesting, to say the least. Three of mind, three of body, three of spirit. Well, aren't you the ultimate um, general purpose unit? Okay, so... You two at the top, I'm going to keep, because six of mine is already great. What I would like... Ooh. You are going to be a cleric, then, eventually. Now I would like a good starting soldier. Wow, a passionate cleric. Four of spirit, four of body. And a cultist. I mean, sure, let's have a cultist cleric. Let's go with that. Okay, in that case, I'm afraid you there. That's not too bad. Although you won't make the strongest soldier, you will level up incredibly quickly. That's not bad already, but do I want to keep on rolling for a six body, six spirit? I kind of do. Since we're on hard difficulty, a little bit of min-maxing is pretty nice. Well, we now have the Azula family, so I think we're going to be keeping that. I accidentally re-rolled all citizens. These four all came with the new re-roll, and then I just grabbed this one by randomizing a few times. Once again, a cultist, and now with animal companion. We can have loads of pets. Okay, that is good enough for me. Okay, then let's go straight into it. We're going to pick the Merchant Caravan. As much as I would love to have the Farmer roll straight away, the idea of having a Trapper is really appealing because straight away we can get some leather. We have the Footman, so we have a Soldier defending us straight away as well. And a Herbalist is always good because I do want a Cleric as soon as possible. Because Clerics are just really, really good. So let's start in our new world. Let's start in Spring this time. Okay, so what I want is something similar to this, actually. I want a little bit of water for us to make an oasis around. Perhaps a little bit more than that, though. Enough so we can build into the water a little bit, just to make it seem more alive. If it's that small, we're probably going to smother it. Okay, that's just too much. Though saying that, I do like all these little outcroppings here. Yeah, this corner would be nice. Hmm. Don't think so, but close. They're saying that. I like this as well. Maybe that's a bit too much water, though. No, going to re-roll. We can re-roll any number of times. Here we go. Starting off in a brand new map, and it's apparently raining. Not the most deserty thing you'd expect, but still. Let's choose our starting location, then. So, this is what we're looking at right now. Hmm, I expected these to be a bit more stone-like, honestly, in terms of their coloration, but that's fine. So, well, I guess it's like sandstone or something similar, I imagine. Anyway, where here are we going to start? This is really exposed. This is a little bit more exposed than I thought, but I see a lot of potential up here. Yeah, that would be really cool. If we started off here, we could build this up really easily and have a grand staircase and have the main building here. And then all of the trade stuff down here. Okay, I have sold myself. We are going to be building here. Welcome, everyone. So, let's get our jobs sorted. So, then. Loads and loads of workers. Um, who is going to be the first craftsman? 
Okay, let's get to it then. So the first craftsman is you. You are going to be our potter. Which will be the main role for quite some time. You there, you are going to be our trapper. Though honestly, you could be the herbalist. Yeah, decent spirit, high mind. But I do want the trapper to level up fast as well. And honestly, we don't need a herbalist this early on. Later on, we will need the herbalist. But for now, it doesn't really matter too much. Not sure. I think I'll leave you as you are. So, this will be our soldier. There we are. Ah, that's good enough for now. We will leave that as it is. Ah, look at all the pets we have. We have a lot of animal companions. So, we have two rabbits... And a raccoon, I believe. Ah, that's very, very cute. And you are a herbivore. And you are also a herbivore, so we need some plants. Ooh, that might actually be a problem. Since we're only going to be eating meat to begin with. Today apparently is a thunderstorm, tomorrow is cloudy, and then it will be finally sunny. So, first thing we need to do then is sort out our way down, because right now we have no access to the ground, and we need to get some stuff from there as soon as possible, thank you very much. Then, we'll dig into the hillside here, because we need to get some clay. There we are. And I also want to get all of these trees. Do that, and then we can start building. A fox messenger? A determined-looking fennec fox approaches, carrying in its snout a leather satchel with Iskender caravan official mail. Probably horribly pronouncing that. Stitched onto it. She drops it by the town standard and settles down, looking up expectantly. Open the satchel. Dear Caravan95, I'm assuming that's us. Thank you for volunteering to establish a new outpost so far to the west. We here at the Trading Company are delighted that you chose us to facilitate your founding. Once the paperwork is in order, an official company caravan led by Agent Noriel will start a new route to your outpost. Lovely. To start, in order for us to enter your outpost into the company ledger, you must choose a name as well as a standard. Once you have made your choice, Please record them on the provided forms and send them back with R, so the little fennec fox does indeed have a name. Okay then. We choose! So then, where is the gold one? There is the Banner of Cunning. Roads give three times their normal speed boost, which is really nice. Your items sell for 50% more, and traders will bring more goods and gold. Because gold is good, as we know. I do love the Banner of Strength. I really do. More clay, and our halflings don't mind the cramped spaces. That makes life a lot easier for us. But let's go with this. Now, what are we going to call ourselves? Vlathrixian Trade Caravan? No, I need to think of something. I'm tempted just to call this place something like Sandstone. I've just realised this is clearly not a raccoon. Yeah. I'm observant. Welcome to the Oasis of Profit. There we go, the outpost has been established. And now it's time to get to money making straight away. Okay, so first things first, let's get some food and some furs, which of course will be worth quite a bit as well. So, there we are, the trapping ground. Let's put this... For now, we might as well just put this down here, I suppose. There's no real reason to put it anywhere else. Could we trap up here? Would that work? Because that would be interesting if we had a ladder going up here and having all of this up here as a trapping area. But for now, I think I'll just take over this area over here. There we are. And of course, we have to start off with the bug trapping grounds. Which does at least give us some chitin, so it does give us something. Not exactly furs, but it's something. Next up, let's get our potter to build the potter's kiln. Okay, everyone, get to work. Oh, look, it's the fennec fox. Hello. Who's the finest messenger? Yes, you are. There we are. I wonder how long he's going to stay with us. 
I'm hoping a while. He prods the satchel. Apparently, in addition to the letter, the satchel contains a smaller satchel full of coins, labelled Outpost Funding Incentive. Thank you very much for that. Oh, goodbye, Fox. Thank you very much. You're the best boy. Yes, you are. Lovely, getting some clay already. Now, what are we going to do? We can't build bricks just yet until we have the potter stuff going. So, let's put down that as soon as it's built. So, for now, the potter will just work over here. Ooh, you just got hit by lightning. Yes, you did. Well, that was unfortunate. Yeah. Not the best start. Gotta be honest, having a thunder day. But still, you know, it's a bit of a thunderstorm. It's fine. Nothing wrong at all. Let's pop this. Oh, let's pop it over here. Uh, no, I like it over here. It's a bit more out of the way, but we can build up here and make it look like a little outpost thing. So then, let's level up our potter. What I want is lots and lots of these small urns. They're not particularly good. Only eight items each, but it will level her up very, very quickly, which is nice. Then we want some chairs and some clay beds. In fact, let's get the clay beds first, shall we? Clay beds first, then those. And what we can do is maybe dig into here a little bit, and that's where our first home can be. Of course, they won't like it because it is indeed cramped space, but it's better than being outside and being struck by lightning over and over again, I imagine. If I had the choice between living in a mountain and being hit by lightning, I would probably pick the mountain, to be perfectly honest. So let's just go ahead and build one large sleeping area. There we are, sleeping area there. And what we can do is build a storage area here and connect it to this. And that can be a storage area. Although we could have our craft... No, I want more stuff outside this time. I don't want to build completely indoors. That's why I'm sort of leaving it like this for now. Yeah. Okay, let's stick with that. Let's cancel the, the build underneath. Can you all please go above? That would be fantastic, thank you. A brand new day and thankfully no more rain. It's just cloudy now. So nothing too special there. Putting down some of the pots just to make sure we don't have items absolutely everywhere. And that should make people a little bit happier as they build and do all their other jobs. Daily update. Yeah, didn't really expect to get anything on the first day, honestly. Oh, we've managed to capture an ant. Delicious. Question mark. All ready to start a new outpost, eh? The desert welcomes all its children. We'll be back tomorrow to check on you, but in the meantime, the company has sent these supplies. Yay! We have some free food. These are kind of adorable. These tiny, tiny little vases. Oh, sorry, little urns. Okay, we definitely need some clay bricks, because I believe that's what we use to build anything with clay in terms of housing. And we need housing as soon as possible, because these fellows are not happy to be indoors. Yeah. Cramped environment, minus four happiness. We are not going to be very happy for quite some time, I feel. In the first impressions video, going with the ability to simply ignore that was fantastic. It meant everyone was actually not overly upset. This time, they are going to be overly upset. For quite some time, I imagine. Oh, look at that. It seems like not everyone is suffering from this area being cramped. Maybe because we're opening it up a little bit more now, it's less of a problem. Almost there with the food. Okay, so we could just put the beds down in here then. Don't do the second section. That looks a bit weird, though, now, honestly, but still. Uh, yeah, we could just make it one giant room. No, I do like the idea of having it as two separate rooms still. It, it's a backup section. It's a backup section until we get something better. Let's just put it as that. 
Sure. Hey, hey, caravan has returned. Lovely. I may purchase some clay. Wow, yeah, they have loads of gold. And we can sell things for a lot. That's really nice. Uh, well, for now, we won't really be using stone, so let's just sell some stone. And I will purchase some food. Lovely. Now, food definitely rots if you leave it either on the floor or in a... What's it called? A stockpile. I'm not sure about if they're in the urns. Oh, already under attack. Uh, soldier, you are needed here right now. Okay, good, you're running away. There goes one. Wow, we need more soldiers very, very quickly. Or at least more gear for our soldiers. That was pretty bad. Yeah, that was very bad. Okay, also the herb list is probably needed. Is that rabbit going to eat some of our food? I mean, it should do, right? Ah, oh, how would you say no to that little face? Even though it kind of looks like it's eating stone. It's not, but for a second it looked like it was. Also, you've made a H. A weird H, but a H. Okay, our potter can already be changed now into a mason. And I'm going to do this because I want the regular chests. Oh, but saying that... But saying that, there are loads of things here I want as well. But it would probably be best if we make you a mason now, straight away, so that we can start training up a second potter. Yeah, that's definitely what we're going to do. Okay, so you already are a mason. And as soon as you become a mason, you will drop your tools, which means you there... In fact, you there can become our new potter. There we are. Lovely. Already progressing with jobs, which is lovely to see. Hello once again, caravan. What do you have? You have more food, which is always good. And you do have a wooden sword. Okay, I will purchase one of those because I do need more soldiers very, very soon. What can we sell, though? Um, well, we can sell that for a start. Sell those two since we're about to make regular chests, which will be far, far better. Sell a little bit of stone, and let's grab ourselves a sword. Someone has befriended an ant. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm also now digging out the under area once again, because we do need some more clay, and sadly this is a purely stone. Also, we really need a herbalist because you are badly hurt. Do we have enough free people? No, we don't. So the next time we get a new person, you there, Miss Azula, you are becoming a herbalist. Hello there, trading caravan. I would very much like that shield. You can have all of these because I like gold and I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. And finally, we get a brand new person. Hello there. So, wow, six of mind. And apparently you're a loner. Okay, well, welcome to the group anyway. So you there, Mrs. Zula, like I promised, you will now become our resident herbalist. Lovely. And I've just moved everything into here as well. Like I say, this is very, very temporary. As soon as we have enough stuff to build, we will be building stuff outside. This is just because it makes things easier. Let's move some healing herbs up to here. There we are. You can go there. As can you. Are there any other herbs nearby we can use? Um, there's a small rabbit. I don't think that's an herb. Honestly. Although you are free food, so I will be placing you here as well. Everything we can take, we will. In the early hours of the morning, the squirrel vanished from existence. Sadly, it seems we did not have enough food for all of the herbivore pets. Thankfully, the pet ant is an omnivore. And is eating ant meat. But he's doing fine because of this. Ooh, lovely. Okay, so... 
I'm assuming the leather skull cap is stronger than the cloth one, so I'll be grabbing that. I'll be grabbing that as well. And I've already made a stone maul, so that should be fine. Now, over here, let's make ourselves some healing potions, shall we? In fact, try to maintain ten at all times. That won't happen for a while, but now we have all of these over here, which should be getting better. And good timing to get more armor, I suppose. Although the invaders are apparently all the way over there. Um, oh, there they are. They can't get to us. But look, an ostrich. Lovely. Yet another new person. Fantastic. Not the best, but we do need some manual labor, so that is still pretty darn fantastic anyway. We're getting more of these pear cactuses, so hopefully our pets won't vanish anymore. Well, I was saying that, you're hungry as well, and there's not enough food for both of you. Um, yeah, not great. Not great at all. This is really far away, but sure, let's grab that. It's going to be a while until we can have a carpenter, and then we can have a farmer after that. So, yeah... I have officially changed my mind, so... Is there any way just to delete a few blocks rather than delete a whole chunk, or do I have to delete the whole chunk? That's a little bit annoying. Yeah, it is. So anyway, what I want to do then is on the bottom here... Let's go back to that colour, because I like the colour anyway. Let's have it like this. Then a doorway here. Quite a large doorway, in fact. Then underneath here, this will be the Potter Studio. Then on the top, we can have a couple of beds. How about like this, using the wall system? So I want this to overlap a little bit. Let's put you like this. You like this. Ah, that's a problem. Whoops a daisy. Can I start from here? No, I can't, apparently. But I can end there. There we are. So a nice entryway there, nice and open. And then we'll place this like that. Okay, that's all right. That looks way too much like a face. A screaming one as well. And yet, now I've done that, I can't undo it in my head. Okay, no, that's getting too silly even for me. Well, it's not going to win any awards for beauty, but it should be functional. So, sure, that's our very first building. Nice and simple and quick. So, build. Eventually. There's a lot of other stuff still queued up, though. Building is underway. Fantastic. Sadly, though, we do need some more stone, so I'm going to start mining out this area as well. Eventually, this will be converted into a mine. But for now, it's pretty much the one stop for everything. Oh no, they're hungry! Someone harvest them some uh, pears already! There we go. Ooh, eggs. And some omelettes and bread. Okay, that's cool. So, what can we sell? What's worth some money? Well, that's worth some money. So, all of you. 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 I can always rebuild some of these later. And I would like to buy some bread for our people. Let's make them a little bit happier, shall we? Some bread and some omelettes. The building is complete. Lovely. Yeah, kind of wish I did more on the sides here and here. Perhaps flipped the um, top section. That is a really boring looking building, I've got to say. If I had more time, I would have done more with it. But for now, it's functional, it's there, and it's better than people sleeping in the cave. So, what I want to do is eventually move the potter stuff underneath here. But then, what else I will need, if I just go and do this, is... Where are you? This here. The finished work shelf... And the supply tables. Yeah, that way we can store some clay there. 
and also have the supply stuff there as well, which would be really, really nice. Now, the next thing I want to start building, though, is... Where are you? It's on the floor. This here, the mosaic. That makes people a lot happier, but that will require a little bit more in the way of leveling. So, we, we just need more clay. Once we have some more clay, we can now start making things look a bit prettier, so people are a bit less upset. And sadly, today, we didn't quite make enough money. Well, for now, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. I do wish I had a little bit more time to work on the building, but since the holidays are now coming up and there's going to be some serious video disruption anyway, sadly, the time was not in my favour. I have a lot of plans for the future and hopefully we can make some things which look a lot better than this weird thing. This is just a humble beginnings to what will eventually be a thriving economy. At the moment, though, we're just catching and eating bugs. That's the level we're at. So if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stonehearth is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. It is so good to be back in Stonehearth. Thank you again, and have a lovely holiday season.